to make this card, I have taken a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock and I actually cut it down at four and a quarter instead of five and a half just so I can get it um, opening a little bit differently. And I've run the front piece of the card through the big shot using the polka dot embossing folder. Now I also have a piece of um, smoky slate cardstock, a piece of pool party cardstock and some Whisper White cardstock that are all going to fit inside of each other. We are using the Lotus Blossom stamp set, which you currently can get for free during celebration with Stampin' Up! right now. Lovely, super fun stamp set. Now this is photopolymer, and I've been using it a lot, and they have stained with the ink, but that's A-OK -okay because they're going to stamp just fine. Now one of the cool things um, about this particular set that Stampin' Up! has done differently is they have actually numbered the stamp so that you know that th this is the first one to stamp, this is number two, and then this one is number three. Now traditionally you would think a flower would be your pinks or your reds or your yellows or oranges, but I'm going to go ahead and use my blues for this card just for something a little bit different and this set is beautiful done in blue. So for this one we're using Pool Party, Island Indigo and Night of Navy. So when I'm using my first stamp you want to use it in your darker color. Number two will be your medium color and number three will be your lightest color. So I'm going to start with my number one using my darkest color which of course is my Night of Navy. And I'm stamping on my paper piercing mat because I'm using photopolymer and it just stamps a lot better on this. Now there's an arrow on the top of this stamp so I'm just going to stamp it straight up. You don't have to stamp it straight up. You can stamp it off to the side if you like. Now I have my Island Indigo. I have my stamp number two again with the arrow straight up. And I'm going to, of course, have it lining up the same direction the first stamp was on. And I'm also just eyeballing this petal right here along this one here. Just to kind of make sure everything's positioned properly. Push down. It's already looking gorgeous. Taking my pool party for the third part of my flower, which is the lightest and lining that up. Tell me that isn't stunning. Oh my gosh, I love this stamp set. I love two-step stamp sets. This is actually a three-step. Um, I just think they're brilliant and they're fast and the results are always a wow. Now I'm adding my stem and I'm inking it in my pair of pizzazz stamping down and I'm actually going to use the same green, the same pair of pizzazz for the second step of the stem. Now I'm using my basic gray to stamp my expression which comes from the same stamp set. Okay, I've got my adhesive behind this piece. And I just noticed, I must have ink on my fingers, that I've got some ink down here. I'm not going to stress about that. We'll go in the center of my green. Now I'm using my one quarter inch cotton ribbon in the Whisper White and I'm just going to tie a little bow. I'm going to use a glue dot to put that onto my card, just like that. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix this smudge of ink that I got there. There's always a way to fix your card, so don't be hasty throwing them out. Alright, so I have my curvy punch here, a piece of scrap Whisper White. I'm going to ink it again in the grey. Stamp it down. punch it out. Fits in there perfectly. I'm just going to take a dimensional, put that 
behind. And actually, before I put this on, I think it might look nice if I sponge it with some of the pool party. I'm just grabbing a sponge. Tuck that on, covering up that boo-boo. 